Hi everyone, my name is Ina and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my first installment for my Makeup Beginner series. So, yes, I know I have said this before, but matagal ko na pinaplano na gumawa ng like Makeup Beginner series kind of video. Like, telling you guys how to do makeup. Well, I'm not a professional. Like, first things first, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm just like a makeup lover, a makeup enthusiast. And... Marami kasi nagtatanong, like, pang beginners, maganda ba to, like, para, like, mga ganyan. <laughs> so first, of course, kung gusto mong mag-learn how to do your makeup, of course, you would need your makeup kit. Kailangan mo ng makeup kung gusto mong ma-learn how to apply makeup properly. So, first thing that you need is a makeup bag. I really like this makeup bag right here. It's from Clinique. But of course, you can use any makeup bag that you want. Gusto ko lang to kasi transparent and I can see everything inside it. So, I want to take this like from my own experience. Like when I was starting applying makeup or practicing how to apply makeup, I wanted to purchase yung mga locally available makeup products lang and yung mga affordable makeup lang, diba? So, today, that is what I will show you. Yung mga swak sa budget for makeup beginners and yung mga maganda naman yung quality kahit na affordable lang sila. Okay? First things first, of course, you would need to apply a primer. Before applying any sort of makeup on your face, apply a primer first. Ano ba ang primer? What is a primer? A primer is what will help you have a smooth canvas on your face para paglagay mo ng BB cream, smooth din yung kalabasan. Diba? And the primer will also help keep the makeup on your face for as long as it can keep the makeup on your face. And it will also protect your skin because it will be a barrier from your skin and the actual makeup. The primer that I will recommend for beginners is this one right here. This is the Quick FX No Shine Mattifier. You can purchase this from Watson's for only 89 pesos. And I know parang konti lang siya, but this one really goes a long way. Kasi konting konti lang naman yung kailangan mo. Mind you, with the primer, you only really need the tiniest bit. Like a pea-sized amount will do for your entire face. Because if you overdo it, you would defeat the purpose of applying a primer. If you overdo it, the foundation or BB cream would just slip and slide off of your face. So, yun. <laughs> you will need a BB cream or a foundation. Now, for beginners, of course, kailangan swak sa budget. I would recommend the iWhite BB Holic Everyday BB Cream. This thing only costs 24 pesos and 50 centavos. Yes, for both of these sachets, 24.50 na siya, and one sachet will last you for about three uses. I don't know for me, kasi marami akong blemishes and acne marks. I only get three uses out of this, but I know a few other people may use this more than three times. But depende na sa yon, depende sa yung needs of coverage. But I really like this because it's very easy to blend. And if you are just a makeup beginner, you would need something that is very easy to blend. But mo tong gamitin only using your fingertips because it's very easy to blend as what I said. And you get the most amount of coverage if you use your fingertips. And that BB cream is also very lightweight. You don't really feel it on your face. It just feels like a moisturizer and it has good coverage. Tapos, it lasts all day pa. And with a quick FX No Shine Mattifier, it will help control the oil on your face if you have oily skin. And by the way, the primer will also help minimize your pores. Alrighty, up next is concealer. Now, of course, I just need to mention this. I know this is not available like nung sa mga malls lang, but this is just the best concealer that I have tried in my life. This is the Mary Kay concealer. You can only purchase it from like Mary Kay consultants or Mary Kay dealers, but it is just the best concealer that I have used because it's waterproof siya and crease resistant and it just stays on all day and all night. And it's just my favorite. Pero kung gusto mo ng mas affordable because I think this runs for like 400 pesos siguro. If you want something more affordable, the LA Girl Pro Concealer is also very, very, very good. And it lasts you for such a long time as in. Ang tagal niyang maubos. Ang tagal niyang ito sa akin. You can purchase this from Watson's. May mga LA Girl counters sa mga Watson's. Kahit nasa Gaisano, meron di ba? It's very easy to find. And you just need to find the right match for your skin tone. This is very nice 
nice because it's very easy to blend, very good coverage as well, and it lasts all day on your face as well. You can use this for your under eyes or for blemishes, so multi-purpose na siya. Alright, so after you have applied all of those creams on your face, of course, you would need to set it with a powder because if you don't set it with a powder, it would tend to just slip and slide on your face and you want your makeup to stay on your face, right? Like you spent 30 minutes applying your makeup, so you'd want it to stay on your face. You don't want it to just slide off when you ride a jeepney, right? The best powder that I have found a super swak sa budget, and super tagal maubos by the way, is the Nichido Final Powder. My shade is in Creamy Glow, pero marami shades dun. Just remember not to get any powder in my shimmer, kasi marami Nichido Final Powders na my shimmer, and I don't know, for me, that's just not a good look. But, nasa sayo yun. Kung gusto mo ng my shimmer, gora na kayo dyan. So yeah. Anyway, this is just the perfect powder for me. I personally like just using the puff that it comes with and just pat that on my face. And then I go ahead and blend it out with a brush. Now, I will tell you what brush is just the perfect brush for me when I was a beginner. And I think para sa lahat ng beginners, ito yung perfect na brush kasi very affordable and very practical and din siya. You can also perfectly fit this in your makeup bag. This is called a retractable powder brush. You can purchase this from Watson's and sa Everblena, Caroline, sa kahit sa mga changge. Doon ko lang binili to, sa changge. <laughs> it's only like 70 pesos, I believe. Ultimately, when you open it up, you get a powder brush. And the bristles on this are very, very, very soft. Tagal na rin to sa akin. I think magto two years na. So you can just pout. So you can use this for your powder, you can use this to set your under eye area, ganyan, with powder. And, ang gusto ko dito is nagagawa ko siyang medyo maliit. So if you want to apply blush, I can make it smaller right there, but a perfect shape lang siya for my cheeks to apply blush. If I want to contour, I can also make it smaller, but a perfect shape din siya to fit the hollows of my cheeks. So, I just like this brush kasi multi-purpose and perfect for beginners. Kapag nag-experiment ka pa lang sa makeup, you would want something multi-purpose, right? Yon, yon. Okay. Move on to the brows. For me, when I was starting doing my brows, I actually started using brow pencils. However, looking back on my old pictures, I probably should have experimented with brow powders first because that gives you a softer look. And for me, kung beginner ka pa lang and you use a brow pencil, you can get pretty robotic eyebrows and pretty harsh brows very easily. So I wouldn't recommend that for you all. I would recommend that you start with a brow powder. This is the brow powder that I would recommend. It's the Maybelline Fashion Brow 3D Brow and Nose Palette. This one is in the shade light brown, pero meron din silang dark brown if you have darker hair. Ang ganda nito kasi meron na siyang wax na included. So the wax will help to like stick the brow hairs on your skin para hindi sila like all over your face para it will tame the brow hairs in place and maging neat sila tignan and then after you have like framed your brows with a brow gel you can go ahead and use the brow powder to set it para it will last all day it's also a multi-purpose product you can also use it to contour your nose Perfect na perfect talaga siya. And this one comes with a free brow brush as well. So perfect. You don't have to purchase a different brow brush anymore. But I will suggest na if you want to practice doing your brows, purchase a spoolie. Ganito yung itsura ng spoolie. You need a spoolie if you want to practice doing your brows because a spoolie will save you from having robotic eyebrows or having too harsh eyebrows. Trust me, buy a spoolie. Um, this one is just a freebie that I got from my NYX brow kit. Pero you can purchase a small spoolie like this from the face shop for only 50 something pesos. You can also purchase one from Marianod na meron na rin siyang angled brush on the other end. It's bigger than this one. Mga ganito siguro kahaba. For only like 50 pesos lang din siguro. Now, the eyeshadows that I would recommend for makeup beginners are these San San Single Eyeshadows. Especially this one in Deep Earth Brown and this one in Warm Copper Fire. These eyeshadows are just super good. Kapag meron ka nitong tatlong to, this one is in Vanilla Bean, by the way. If you have these three eyeshadows, you can already create the most beautiful eyeshadow look na hindi mao obvious na ikaw ay makeup beginner pa lang as in. I promise. 
Up next, eyeliner. The best pencil eyeliner that I have found from the local market is the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. Now, this one may be um, a bit more expensive compared to other brands of pencil eyeliners, but ito lang talaga yung the best for me because it's very soft, very easy to smudge, and if you don't want to blend it out or smudge it out, you just wait for it to set and you get a smudge proof and waterproof pencil eyeliner. However, it doesn't work on everyone, but for me, it is smudge proof and waterproof and budge proof for about six hours. So you won't know if it works for you unless you try it out. Now, the eyeliner that I would recommend for beginners, like liquid eyeliner, dito ako natuto na gumawa ng liquid eyeliner like yung cat eye. This. This is the Sansan Age Defense Liquid Eyeliner. I believe this only costs 90 pesos? I forgot. Basta less than 100 pesos siguro. This is how I learned to apply liquid eyeliner because it's very easy to work with. Kasi yung tip niya medyo matigas, parang stick siya. So it's not really hard. Like, pair to an eyeliner na brush tip siya. So it's harder to control kapag beginner ka pa lang. Kasi syempre, manginginig ka pa, diba? It stays on your eyes for such a long time. And ang ganda lang ng formula nito as in, trust me. Very, very nice eyeliner for beginners. Next up, you also need to curl your lashes. So you need an eyelash curler. And then, my favorite mascara, which is also, I think, very nice for beginners, is the Maybelline the Hyper Curl Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. This is just perfect. It's very affordable on Bincha. 199 pesos and very readily available. Sa mga Maybelline counters, Watsons, SM Department Store, yung sano, merong Maybelline. Perfect talaga yun para sa beginners because it's waterproof, affordable, very easy to find, budge proof, smudge proof, and lahat na. It's just perfect. And foolproof na rin siya. Next, let's move on to the blush, bronzer, and contour. Now, my favorite contour powder is this Sansan Contour Powder. This is not a contour powder, it's an eyeshadow. It's in the shade Deep Earth Brown. But this is my perfect, perfect, perfect shade pang contour talaga. It's only 50 pesos and pack. You get a sharp contour, very nice to work with. And ang ganda lang ng color niya pang contour. But for beginners, I don't recommend that you actually contour yet. Start muna tayo sa bronzing. And then after bronzing, we can go ahead and contour. So, let's talk about my favorite blush and bronzer. No beginner ako, I think this is the first blush and bronzer palette that I purchased. This one is the e.l.f. blush and bronzer. It's in the shade St. Lucia. You can purchase this from e.l.f. counters, uh, SM department store, or Watsons. As you can see, I have loved it so much. And ito talaga yung i-recommend ko sa inyo because this shade right here matches a lot of different skin tones. And perfect lang siya. If you don't want to purchase an e.l.f. product, you can also go to EB Advance. Meron silang blush duo. And this one comes with a bronzer and a blush. This one in particular is in the shade Rosy Chic. And it has a brush included na rin. This one is okay, but mas maganda pa rin talaga yung e.l.f. for me. Kasi it's less powdery and I think it's easier to work with. For highlighter, I haven't really found any good highlighters from the local market. Pero this one, this eyeshadow from Sansan in the shade Vanilla Bean is very nice for highlighting. Especially like if you have the same skin tone as me. Ayan, ang ganda niya. Actually, it, it works really nice as a highlighter. I have a video where I use this as my highlighter. Um, if you want to see that, I will put it right here somewhere on your screen. It's a makeup tutorial where I used all affordable products. And ito yung ginamit kong highlighter. And it turned out to be really, really nice. Alright, and then next up, in your Kika kit, of course, you need a lip balm to moisturize your lips before lipstick application. And if you want to experiment on applying lip liner, this is the lip liner that I would recommend. It's from Nichido, and this one is in the shade Rosette. It's the lip liner that I have on my lips right now. It's just a very nice neutral pink color, parang rosy pink color as you can see. And these Nichido lip liners cost only 100 pesos, and the quality is very, very nice. Hindi siya parang 100 pesos lang, kasi ang ganda ng formula, and it lasts pretty long on the lips as well. Now, for lipstick, of course, you have a lot of 
brands to choose from a lot of finishes you can choose matte satin glossy finishes um, let me show you a few of my favorite locally available and yung mga swak sa budget maganda yung performance ng lipstick all right so i have three right here first let's start with my favorite matte lipstick formula and my favorite matte lipstick shade as well this lipstick is from fashion 21 and it is in the shade all day bronze this is a matte formula so of course wala siyang sheen walang glossy look it's just a matte formula and gustong gusto ko to because it lasts all day on your lips and it's just a very nice nude color just it's just perfect. I have a review of this here on my channel. So, kung gusto niyo siyang mapanood before you purchase it, you can check out the link right here. Second, if you want a lipstick with like a satin finish and a bit more moisturizing kasi ito matte so hindi nga siya moisturizing, diba? If you want something like that, you can try this EB Advanced Supreme Lipstick. This one in particular is in the shade of Venus. I also have a review of this. Check out the link right here. Um, ganito yung shade niya. It's a hot pink shade. And this one is ang bango niya. Um, it reminds me of yung mga panda na bolpe na scented noon. Yun yung amoy niya. As in, it reminds me of my elementary days. And that lipstick is just very moisturizing on your lips. And it lasts quite long as well considering that it is a moisturizing lipstick. Next. If you want something more of a glossy finish, I would recommend this EB Advanced Liquid Lipstick. Yes, it is a liquid lipstick, but it is not matte whatsoever. It's actually kind of a lip gloss, but not super glossy, pero meron pa rin siyang shine. So, I believe this only costs 180 pesos, and there are a lot of shades to choose from. I believe they have like 8 shades to choose from. This one is in the shade Soft Lace. It's my favorite shade of all because it's very nice just a skin tone ko and I just love it. So yeah, those are the three lipsticks that I would recommend na from the local market. Very affordable and very easy to find. So, whew, I'm very tired. Parang I need a drink. By the way, I forgot also in your Kikai kit, you need a tweezer para pang tweeze na mga unwanted brow hairs and a brow shaver as well. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and sana nakatulong ito sa inyo. I hope this video was helpful to at least someone out there. And yeah, if you found it helpful or if you enjoyed watching, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel just in case you're not subscribed yet. I upload every other day, sometimes every day and I hope you can be part of my family. And don't worry, I will have more beginner makeup series here on my channel pretty soon. And yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Are these... Oh, 3D now... <laughs>